If you are not interested in the Sam Altman drama at OpenAI or the even bigger drama at X.com, previously known as Twitter, regarding Elon's post that has been mild, widely misconstrued dishonestly, in my opinion, as anti-Semitic, then there's precious Southern news to report. These two stories have taken the entire wind out of everything else. There's no other headlines. But we will. We have dug deeply. We have looked as far and wide, and we found some definite other news that I think you'll find interesting this morning that will affect the economy and the stock market a lot more than those two stories. Anyway, Tesla's first move was down this morning strongly, 1% down even as the market was up strongly. But this didn't hold, and at last glance, Tesla was bouncing in and out of the green and was actually in the green last at the very last look. But we'll, of course, we'll look at that in a few more minutes and see if there's any trend that's discernible this morning. This is Randy Kirk. Please hit like. You know that that's important. Please hit that like button. It really, really helps the algorithm here. And, uh, you know, if you if you generally like the show, hit like now. If you want to wait and see whether today's show is any good, well, you can wait and hit the like button later. Uh, hit subscribe. That also helps the algo. And then hit the notify. I've got Ryan White coming up today, lunchtime area, you know, around around noon California time, maybe 11 o'clock California time. I've got uh, Larry Goldberg joining me tonight as co-host again on Tuesday night, on the uh, Monday. This is Monday, right? <laughs> Good News Monday show. Remember, I've now got, uh, 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 yeah, I've got <laughs> co-hosts lined up all week. I've, and so... Uh, except for Tuesday. I don't have anybody lined up for Tuesday yet. Anyway, but we'll work on that and see if we can get another co-host for the Good News Tuesday show. All right. So uh, also, please remember, this is a very, very good time. You know you wanted to for a while anyway. It's a great time to buy one of these babies. Uh, the uh, Cybertruck bottle opener and refrigerator magnet. Uh, huge sales last week. I was just blown away. I want to thank everybody for jumping in there and grabbing some of these, but people are starting to recognize it's a great Christmas gift, a great thing to give to your buyers. Maybe uh, it's under tw it's $25. So it meets most of the requirements for that. In fact, if you buy 10, it's way under $25. So therefore uh, 10 is uh, $220. So $22 a piece. Uh, so you have a real opportunity there to get something that would fit. Uh, remember, this is made out of stainless steel. It is three millimeters thick. It is super solid. Uh, just like the Tesla Cybertruck. That's the whole idea. And it comes in camo, although I'm out of camo until Monday. But with the short week, you know, your order, uh, you know, it's not that long to wait. So I should have those back in stock on Monday. $25 for one, $45 for two, $65 for three. And all the information is below in the description. All right. Um, so, uh, beginning the mo more important news this morning is that there's multiple price target changes out this morning on Tesla are uh, some new folks. So Ray Wong uh, Constellation Research was on Brighter with Herbert uh, on Sunday. Um, take a pass on that particular show. That was uh, that guy. He's a Seems like a smart guy, but he's all over the place with regard to his understanding of Tesla. Some stuff he was good, some stuff he was really far off. But he and his crew do have a price target, and that is $320. Uh, he says that his thinking on that is that about 40% of that is auto. Another bunch of it, he didn't give an, a percentage, is on energy. And there's a bunch in there for future products uh, like Optimus and whatnot. So, uh, you know, it's an hour and a half show. I listened to the whole thing. Eh, not not a lot great there. Okay, then Sawyer Merritt says that he has uh, Jeffries out this morning with a price uh, cut. Uh, they were at 250. They have cut their price to 210. I couldn't find the rest of the article. I couldn't find any details. I couldn't find any reasons why. Um, but I thought I would report what I do know. Sawyer Merritt also reporting that Piper Sandler has uh, Alexander Potter, their analyst, has raised the Tesla price target to 295 from 290 and, rem and uh, continued with an overweight rating. Again, I couldn't find the story. No story. I, I've looked. 
There's no additional news on either one of those. All right. Um, Ask Kevin, of course, as I mentioned yesterday, has a price target now of 1000 uh, for next year. Mine is at 700 for next year. Uh, and that is based on just auto and energy. Not in, in, And uh, as Kevin said, his is based only on auto. Didn't even include energy in there, although I think he probably would change that to include energy if I asked him directly. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you start adding in things like the Optimus or full self-driving being complete, the, the price target goes way higher. Okay, Dave Lee did an hour. Now there's a there's a story that you may want to watch uh, if you're if you're interested in the whole Altman story, the whole you know what Sam doing now story. Where is where is Sam now? Um, uh, you know, it was an interesting uh, an interesting hour or so there. I think that was almost an hour and a half. Also, a streaming video with lots of questions. Uh, he talked about the future of AI, where AI is now, uh, where he sees ChatGPT, how he sees all of that involving uh, Tesla and involving um, the uh, AI business at uh, at um, not Twitter anymore, X.com uh, and X.ai. So he kind of tried to pull all that together. It was a it was a a, a, a worthy listen for at least especially for the for like first fifteen or twenty minutes. Um, anyway, he. Uh, he does believe, as I do, that Tesla and X.AI will trade resources. He would his the main takeaway for me was that he'd like to see a more formal relationship between the two. Maybe even Tesla buying shares in X.AI uh, so that they have an ownership there, or so that we have an ownership there, uh, because he sees that company going absolutely to the moon. Uh, with Grok and the rest, um, and uh, goes into a lot of detail about what he sees going on there. Uh, yeah, I think it was good. Good, that was a good uh, video to watch. From Money Wise, uh, Jeremy Siegel, one of my buddies, as you know, I like what he has to say, is confirming some of the things he said before, in a slightly different way. He says, while the latest CPI numbers suggest that the Fed may have more work to do to bring down inflation, Siegel believes that raising rising price levels are no longer an issue in America. By the way, I don't think Jeremy Siegel would have said what C, what uh, the article, what the author of the article said about uh, CPI numbers suggesting the Fed has more work to do. Anyway, uh, he says, in fact, this is what Jeremy Siegel says, I would say it's all clear on the inflation front. The Economist further adds that there has been no deposit growth, he's talking about in the banks, and that liquidity is being squeezed. Gosh, Jeremy, you sound like you're talking to Randy and Larry. <laughs> anyway, my biggest concern continues to be, Larry's biggest concern continues to be that liquidity is being squeezed out of the marketplace. He says, we are going to have, we are not going to have any more inflation. Sure, certain core rates will go down slowly, but that's not the battle that Powell has to worry about in the future. He says, what are those core issues that are not going to go away? Okay, I've already mentioned them. Anything to do with travel. So airline tickets, uh, room room rates in hotels, eating out, those are not going down quickly. Personal owned residences, that is actually going to be, well, it's not going to be going up over 2% next year, I don't think. I think we probably will see residential uh, uh, owned homes maybe going up around that, one and a half to 2% next year, but it isn't going down. So it will be contributing to an up uh inflation being up, but not over that 2%. I think probably in the travel area also, maybe it'll not be continuing to go up so fast, like 6%, 5%. Maybe that'll settle down into more of a 3% range for all those travel related items, because I think there, it's, there's going to be some resistance at some point to these numbers being so high. From Barron's, crude prices. Now, this is an important story. Okay, crude prices were rising early morning, extending gains from the end of last week from very low lows. The increases follow a report in the Financial Times saying Saudi Arabia will prolong voluntary output restrictions into next year, while the rest of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries is considering further cuts. So here you go. Uh, will OPEC cut more? Saudi apparently, based on the nuance reading between the lines, has cut as much as they can cut. Russia maybe has cut as much as they can cut. They need the income. They need they need to have this revenue coming in. 
Um, but uh, maybe OPEC is going to be willing to cut a little bit more. Uh, but we've got rising in we got rising numbers in Canada, rising numbers in the United States. I think this is going to be a folly, a game of folly. And the last time I looked at oil, it had gone up a little bit, but was already starting to fall back. But we'll look at a couple of seconds here. So and then if you missed last night, this particular week, this Thanksgiving week is generally a very good week for the bulls. 60 percent plus of the time it is up and strongly up. And currently there is no news to pull it down. That's not investment advice. <laughs> Do your own homework. Similarly with Tesla, the fundamentals are excellent. The current set of catalysts are positive and the future looks amazing. And we are now only 10 days away from the uh, Cybertruck reveal and everything else that might happen that day. So I'm expecting the FOMO to pretty be pretty strong this week. And uh, depending on all these issues that we're waiting to hear, like the price of the Cybertruck, some of the uh, final numbers in terms of the uh, the specs on the Cybertruck, some surprises that we're surely going to get on a week from Thursday, and even additional news that we could get between now and then. Um, I think, uh, you know, I, I, I think Tesla's going to be up this week. <laughs> anyway, that's so let's go ahead and take a look now where the markets are as of right now. So as I talked about, Tesla is now up uh, 0.26. That is against the NASDAQ being up 0.53. So not quite as strong as the NASDAQ. However, it is now, uh, you know, solidly in the green. S&P is up 0.2. Uh, Nasdaq is up 0.6. Let's take a look at these. And, and all of the all of the um, Magnificent Seven are now up, and that was not true a few minutes ago. So, and uh, fairly strongly so. So the market is now, I think, taking a fairly strong move up. Let's look at these in numbers. The Dow is up 29. Uh, the Nasdaq is up $84, S&P up $10, and Tesla up a buck. Uh, again, uh, now all the Kathy Woods are mostly in the green, and those that aren't in the green are by pennies in the red. So yeah, the overall general trend this morning is definitely up. Let's now take a look at those other numbers. Just a second here. Okay, what we've got is we have got the Bitcoin up strongly, up 500 at 37.4. We have got the dollar sliding. Now, the dollar is down about 10% from the highs that it had a week ago. It was like a down here, down here. So all together now, it's down about 10% over the last week or so. Uh, and a, a little bit uh, down this morning. Again, I'm not expecting that slide to go much further. That's just me, not investment advice. Uh, the, um, oops. Things are sliding around on my thing. So gold is down 12 bucks, down to 1972. So that's now a trend line. We're seeing that trending down. Copper is uh, up uh, uh, three cents. It's a point, point about uh, 1%, so 0.91%. Uh, and then uh, what we've also got is oil is now up $1.46. It was up more. It was up like two and a half dollars. Uh, at 77.35, so still under 80. So that's I'm not not terribly worried unless it starts breaking back in the 80s again. That the that the statement by OPEC uh, uh, this morning uh, is going to affect the market that much. And then uh, yeah, the bonds. Okay, so where we are right now, bonds. The 10 year is flat at 4.451, and we have got the two month. Uh, also fairly flat, up uh, a half a basis point. The two-year down almost one basis point. So very, very flat this morning um, on the uh, on the bonds. Um, and again, I'm expecting that to continue down. Although right now the 10-year is has a trend line that's moving up, uh, going back again, just for fun. I like to look at these trends. Of course, that's why I, that's why I showed Tesla a few times in the morning. So Tesla is now at, at uh, flat, at, right at zero, zero, zero. Um, and all everything has now topped off and is at a seat. Just in, <laughs> in two minutes, we have the trend broken. Something, I doubt if there's any news, but maybe Tesla's now just slightly in the red. Okay, um, let's see, Patreon. The reasons you want to join Patreon, the number one reason is because you enjoy this show and you get value out of it. And so since you're getting value out of it, like you might have gotten from a newspaper, uh, you know, remember those guys like 20, 30 years ago? I know 
you you resist. You're like me. You resist every paywall that you now have to to to, to uh, you know pay ten bucks here and five bucks here and fifteen dollars there in order to break through the paywalls in order to be able to read the news that you think should be free. Except there's a lot of money. There's there's people spend money to produce that news. So I spend ten bucks on Apple News and that breaks a lot of paywalls so that I can report that stuff for you. I can read it. I can get it, I can analyze it and provide it for you. So maybe five bucks a month would be worth it for you. Uh, if you've got that, don't do it. If you if it, if it's going to break your bank, please don't do it. Um, if five bucks a month is no big deal for you, you might want to contribute because maybe you're getting some value here. Uh, that would be joining by Patreon. You go down in the description, you hit the link, takes you straight to Patreon, and you can just sign up there. Now, when you do that, you can get one of the books over here, uh, an audio book, um, and, uh, you know, that's worth, uh, 15, $20 right there. I think around 15, yeah, around 15 to $20 for an audio book. Okay. Now also, uh, if you join at the $10 level, you get two books or you can get one of these babies for free and they're worth $25. Or if you buy it on Amazon, it's worth $29.95. And by the way, it's selling just fine at $29.95, quite solid sales over the last week at that price. So you're getting it for a deal. Freight included $25, or if you buy two, you can get it for $45, and that's $22.50 each. You buy three, it gets more complicated. It's under it's around $22. I think I misquoted a minute ago. I think 10 is only $210. I, I could be wrong. It's all in the information below, down in the description. So take a look down there if you'd like to get involved. You just send the money. If you're going to buy some of those from, from me, you go to paypal.me forward slash Randy Kirk all in lowercase letters. Be sure to let me know if you want the stainless or the camo. And remember, those won't the camo won't ship until Monday. And then if you're outside the country, please add $20 for additional freight. Okay, one last, oh, remember now, Larry is later tonight. He'll be co-hosting with me on Good News Monday. You've got Brian White at around 11 o'clock. Not sure what we're going to talk about. Maybe the whole Sam Altman thing. I'm not sure. By the way, apparently he now works for Microsoft. Uh, that, I forgot to include that in the news. So that's my understanding. One last look at the crazy market this morning. So Tesla has bounced out a buck, but it's now bouncing back up. Anyway, all around the break even today. That's where apparently things are going to be happening, at least with Tesla as the market uh is also, uh, no, the market is now trending back up and it looks like Tesla is as well. Okay, so crazy beginning to the market this morning. It has been great talking to you.